can make this. What's up, YouTube? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Texas Check Man. Checking in once again. That music and motivation. Today I got a, a running product that I always use, a running shoe. I'm going to do a review on that. We got the infamous Nike TR1s. Some people call them the Flywires. This is my second pair of these that I've had over the couple uh, last couple of years. This is a newer version, of course. My wife bought me these for a special occasion. Shout out to Heine. They got a, a bottom, a rubber bottom that's made for uh, for the track. So when running comes with these shoes right here, you really don't want to wear these on the street. I wore them one time in the rain and it was slippery as hell, so I had to kind of like tiptoe run, I guess you would say like trot. I couldn't really get the full range of motion with these because I was worried about falling. But I will say this though, when the streets are dry, they're pretty good. The best surface to use these on is going to be your, you know, your track at your local high school or your college, wherever you go run at. Another good place is going to be on the treadmill. These are perfect for a treadmill. The, the only bad thing I have about these shoes, besides that, uh, that slick surface thing I was talking about, or actually it's two bad things. One is the heels. It doesn't have a lot of heel support. So if you're a heel striker, if you're doing a long distance running and you're a heel striker, you don't want to wear these if you're a heel striker. Your shit will be killing you in the morning. On the other hand, if you run on your toes, like I rarely do, these shoes, these shoes are badass if you run on your toes. They are light as shit. They look good, of course, and they're comfortable as shit. Now, for them to be comfortable as shit, you do have to break these in. Me, on the other hand, I have a wide foot. So having a wide foot means this shit right here is like smothering my damn shit. So it was kind of uncomfortable. I ain't gonna lie for the, for the first couple times that I wore these. But now that they're broken in, this is uh, a great shoe. I am not gonna lie. Now on a, on a scale from uh, 1 to 10, 10 being the best running shoe that I've ever had, I'm gonna go ahead and give these a 7. These are 7 on my list. That's far as athletic stuff. Now. If we're talking about looks and everything like that, man, these are up there like in the nine, nine and a half as far as running shoes and the way they look. This is almost a perfect look looking physical shoe as far as appearance, if we're going by that. Now, uh, flexibility. When you get a running shoe, you always want to go like this. See how, how much the shoe moves, how much play you're going to have in it? If it don't have no play in it, it's not going to really adjust to your foot the way you want it to whenever you're stepping. How, how flexible are your feet? You run flat footed, you got high arches whatever flexibility is not all that but like I said I wouldn't really run like running on the street on this I wouldn't prefer it. this is a track shoe or a treadmill shoe but that's all I gotta say about this uh, go ahead and if you got these shoes or some shoes like this leave a comment in the description man tell me what's up man y'all need to quit trolling my shit and, and get down with the crew man uh, comment and subscribe holler back